welcome to my channel Two Spoons of Oil. For those of you who have been my regular subscribers, thank you so much. Do like this video. And for those of you who have chance to land upon this video for the first time, check out my other videos. And I'm sure you like, uh, you know, the recipes that I make. All right. So for today, what we'll make is a gluten-free burrito. Yes, you heard it right. We'll make a gluten-free burrito. Let's get started. Let's look what I, what all do I need? I have some cabbage leaves. I have boiled red kidney beans, which is rajma. About uh, half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper powder. I have uh, Kashmiri mirch, which is half a teaspoon. I have hot sauce. This is again homemade. You can look at the link. There is a recipe for that as well. I've added that. I have the normal chili powder, which is about half a teaspoon. I have one teaspoon of cumin seeds, about half a teaspoon of rock salt, which is kala namak, and about half a teaspoon of, uh, no, let's make it one teaspoon of uh, black, uh, the normal salt, table salt, I'm sorry. Okay, moving on. I have about five, six cloves of garlic. They have been chopped. I have some green chilies, they have been chopped. Here I have some orange or English or English carrots, the orange colored ones, they have been chopped roughly. I have about 4-5 tomatoes which have been chopped roughly. This is going to be used only for the assembly. I have some cottage cheese called as paneer. Now this is about half a cup. I have 5-6 uh, small uh, shallots and they have been chopped roughly. This is lemon juice for two lemons. I also have some rice here. Now this rice has a very beautiful color and you would want to ask why. Now this rice has been made with the water in which I boiled rajma and hence the beautiful color. Make sure that you know once you start making the burritos, uh, this rice has to be very very cold. Either put it in the fridge or at least bring it to the room temperature. Alright, so let's get started on making the gluten free burrito. So follow me. We'll start by preparing the rice. The rice is nice and cool. All I'm going to do is add juice of two lemons and mix it well. Remember in a burrito you need to assemble with a lot of sauces. So make sure that you know the amount of salt and other spices like chilies that you add are as per your own taste swada nusar. My rice is done. I'm going to heat up a pan or a girdle and add about one tablespoon of oil to it. Once it is heated I'm going to go back and add my Kashmiri mirch and the cumin seeds. Once the cumin seeds start to sput sputter I'm going to add the green chilies and I'm also going to add the garlic. Now if you look at this beautiful side in front of you what's happening is that my garlic is sizzling. At this stage I'm going to add my onions to this. I have to fry the onions till the time they become a little translucent. If you look at the onions, they are very nicely done, okay, they are nice and translucent. At this stage, I am going to add these bite sized chopped English carrots, all of them. And I am also going to add the cottage cheese or the grated paneer that I have. Once I have added all of that, remember do not put the tomatoes. Now I add my black salt and the normal salt. I will also add the, uh, the actual chili powder. We will add it to Kashmiri mitch first. This is the chili powder. And I am also going to add the black pepper powder and the beans, the red kidney beans that I had. We will cook this mixture. Now what you have to be sure is that this mixture has to be a little dry. It is not supposed to be 
a very wet mixture so I'm going to cook it for about uh, three to four minutes okay now the mixture is ready at the last stage I'm going to add this hot sauce okay this is added and I give this mixture a nice mix you can see you will still see some mist forming on my camera which says it's so really hot I will wait for it to cool down a little bit and then I'm going to start assembling my burrito okay so my mixture is nice and cold at warm at your sorry at room temperature okay so I'm going to start assembling my burrito remember it was a gluten free burrito so what we'll do is we'll use a leaf for one cabbage now I have a spinach sauce okay I'm going to spread a little bit of sauce on the leaf if you look at the description box you'll find the recipe the link to the video for this recipe at this stage I will add the rice and make a nice bed of the rice Once this is done, I'm going to add some enchilada sauce. You can look at the description box. It has the link to the homemade enchilada sauce that I made. It's very nice. It's very yummy and makes your kitchen really fragrant. Alright, once I've layered with that, I'm going to add this mix that I prepared. Add that mix. And then I'm going to top it with some chopped tomatoes okay you want to chop it even smaller it's up to you at this stage we will actually just go ahead you can use a toothpick and fold this and put it here I have my baking tray ready I'm going to put it on my baking tray and bake it for about 5 minutes at about 220 degrees Celsius. Remember, the oven has to be preheated. Now you see, this is absolutely ready. Now these are gluten free burritos and I'm serving them with a nice pin, uh, minty dip which is made with hunkered. You can look at the description box for the link to the recipe for that. I've also added some enchilada sauce I'm going to top my uh, burrito with some enchilada sauce on top in case you like your burritos to be a little wet okay and in case you know you're not able to close these burritos in case the cabbage leaves are not holding up you can use either a toothpick or if your cabbage is probably you know a little old you can blanch the leaves first and make sure that they are you know dried with a kitchen towel and then you can go ahead and use it with that I'm going to sign off I've given you a very nice recipe today of a gluten free burrito use it as a snack use it as a meal but do let me know in the comment section below that how did you like you know this recipe of mine with that I'm signing off I'm going to see you with some more recipes yes healthy ones with as little less oil as possible now -uh, two spoons of oil only Alright then, bye bye.